whenever a flow meter is used, where it's connected in the circuit influences the conclusions that can be drawn. If I connect the flow meter here between the relief valve and directional control valve, Like so, the pump is protected from overpressurization by the system's relief valve. But if the flow test indicates excessive internal leakage, I won't know for sure whether the relief valve or the pump is responsible. If on the other hand, I connect the flow meter here between the pump and relief valve, Like so, the pump is no longer protected from overpressurization by the system's relief valve. But if the flow test indicates excessive internal leakage, only the pump can be responsible because it is the only component before or upstream of the flow meter. With simulation started, we can see that a flow of 100 litres per minute is passing through the flow meter at a load resistance of 5 bar. Now I'm going to use the loading valve on the flow meter to increase load resistance and therefore pressure while observing output flow. At 50 bar, or very close to it, output flow is 93 litres per minute. 